Oh, Boosted, tell us it's not so. Well, I guess we saw it coming, right? I think we all saw this coming. And this video is like a, uh, it has to be a sit down one because it's serious. This is a serious moment in history and not just about Boosted. But before we get started with some of the bad news, obviously you guys have known because I'm like way behind on content right now. But um, we have something new coming to the channel and we're gonna give you a sneak peek now. Okay, so at this point, everyone knows Boosted is uh, basically sent out that memo or letter to the customers, basically a thank you and a, uh, saying a goodbye. Um, it's, it's tragic, it's tough. I, I wish it wasn't so, but this has been like the perfect storm if, if you can kind of just, if you've been paying attention of everything that's been going on in the financial world and all this with the tariffs and <laughs> Boost Rev not doing so well, and now we have this pandemic on our hand. This has been like the perfect storm. Now, obviously, Boosted has been um, in trouble before this pandemic hit. So, yeah. But I think what this pandemic has done is basically solidified uh, and put a, basically a rubber stamp on Boosted going out of business and not probably, you know, not being able to find someone to buy the company. If so, it's probably going to take damn near a year to find someone to buy this company. Um, being that we're in a, a pandemic right now, there and the financial in uncertainty, the economic issues that we're having due to, due to the coronavirus, um, everyone's saying this could potentially be a depression again. I mean, we're, we have financial depression. Like, it's, uh, it's not looking good. This is, again, it's the perfect storm for Boosted to be going out of business and none of the cards going in Boosted's favor. Now, real quick, okay, before we continue talking about Boosted, um, it's, I just wanna talk about the coronavirus for a few minutes, or maybe a minute. I'm not gonna to try to talk too long about it, but I just wanna talk about something that's kind of weird and disturbing, in my opinion, is the fact that you have professionals coming on TV saying that this is a virus that they've never seen before. And I'm telling you, I've seen people say this. I've seen professionals say the reason it's so bad is because they haven't seen it before. They, ha they can't get a handle on it because they don't know much about it. But at the same time, you're telling us that you basically know of animals that carry this particular strain of the coronavirus, like bats. Now, it's just not adding up to me. It's not making sense, but that's all I want to say about this particular part of the coronavirus, and I'm gonna leave it alone, because we don't know if there's any type of conspiracies or whatever, you know, I ain't trying to get shot or anything like that by um, speaking up on stuff people ain't paying attention to. But you know, anyway, back to Boosted. Now the biggest concern for me is with the people that bought extended warranties, you know, and being that the fact the Boosted Rev is so new, they haven't started offering replacement parts, so, now obviously there's probably gonna be a, a, a third market out there for like boosted board parts and it's probably not gonna die out for a year or so. But you also can see like maybe, hey, maybe the company that sells the stuff to boost it or makes the parts for boost it, maybe they will eventually, they can't go out of business too, right? They probably make the stuff for other boards as well, other companies. So maybe they'll offer you know, a way to actually buy parts for Boosted, and that's what I'm hoping for. So, but as of right now, no one knows what's going on with um, service, how are we gonna get them service? Is there any company that's gonna provide service for Boosted boards and, you know, get replacement parts? Because people are gonna still ride these. These were investments, $1,600 investments, $900 investments, you know, $800 investments. We were talking about the Mini S up to the Boosted Stealth. I mean, they're investments that um, people are gonna continue to ride. So that's really my biggest fear. And I, and I do kind of uh, worry about that with my Boosted boards and the bo especially the Boosted Rev. Not so much about the Boosted boards, but the Boosted Rev, I'm definitely worried about if anything goes wrong, battery-wise, electrical, anything of that nature, well, I'm just, out of luck. And you know, that's, I guess, comes with the territory when a company goes out of business and it's just unfortunate. So, oh, boost this. 
I wish it was different. I wish they would be uh, giving us some good news that they've actually sold the company. And obviously we know that um, the company's never gonna be the same. Even if they end up do finding someone to purchase Boosted Board or boost it, it's just not gonna be the same. And again, it's gonna it's it's good or bad. No one knows. I mean, sometimes it can be a good thing to uh, be under new management and, and a new owner because you know they obviously have been watching from afar, watching mistakes, and they can easily correct those mistakes because they're they're not they weren't into the day to day operations at that time, and they can take you know a company in a different direction. So, who knows, man? I hope they get bought out. I hope they sell and uh, we can continue to have boost it in whatever capacity capacity that uh, they're going to be in at least if they come out again what i'm really hoping for and i wish would have happened a long time ago is that uh boost it would have actually caught up with the competition when it comes to uh, batteries now yes they, they have great batteries and you don't have issues with their batteries for the most part obviously there are lemons there, there are batteries that are just bad batches and things like that but what you can say about a boosted board and their batteries are that um, you truly got 10 miles and you got that consistently when you were um, riding in favorable conditions, right? So, like, obviously it's rated for 14, but for the most part, people that were riding sensible, you could easily get 10 miles in one of the lower modes, like uh, in pro mode or something like that. I could get 10 miles going easily every single time. There was no battery sag, there was nothing. So it's not that they didn't have the technology or the capability to make a longer range batteries. They just didn't. I, I just, you know, instead of making that boosted rev, and obviously hindsight is 2020 at this point, but I think what a lot of people would have loved to see is a new battery. Now, yes, everyone's saying, oh, all terrain tires and things like that. No, I think what would have impressed people the most and made people come back to boost it would have been, back, been, would have been the fact that we could go just as long as an evolved board. We can get 20, 30 miles on a single charge. I think that's what would have kept Boosted alive. But unfortunately, we didn't get to see that. And um, I know that the Boosted board's batteries would have been great. Um, I hope we do get a chance to see it at some point if Boosted can sell. Uh, but again, I am not really putting much hope into it being that we are in a financial uncertain time right now. No one's really going to be wanting to take risk at this very moment, at least for the next six to, uh, I would say six to eight months until this pandemic is over. No one's going to really be wanting to take any financial risks. It's just not going to happen. But, um, guys, I guess this is a goodbye to Boosty. I had fun while it lasted, and um, I'm praying and hoping that it's not over, but if it is, this is my closure. <laughs> I think everyone's trying to get closure from Boosted going out of business because they've done so much for the electric skate community and just the, the personal electric vehicle community altogether. I mean, they've pretty much made it extremely popular. But anyways, okay, I'm not gonna ramble on anymore. I hope all of you guys stay safe. Um, self-quarantine if you need to um, I'm trying to stay away from as many people as possible just to be safe keep my family away from as many people as possible uh, I hope you guys do the same um, stay tuned we again we have so much great stuff coming we have a brand new motorcycle um, that's the Harley Iron 883 um, so I'll catch you guys in the next video